with a country note, we are hanging out with a legend and a soon-to-be legend. Don't you like how I did that? I Sundance, did. I don't did. you? I, like that. I love that. I threw that out to the universe for you. Yeah, I don't know what I'll be a legend <laughs> for, but I can't wait. So Sundance Head, Dean Dillon, we're hanging out. We're celebrating at your party because you have a new single off of your album that came out a few months ago. And we know because one of our girls did a review and everybody loved it. Well, thank you. Thank you. We need to have everybody in the world review the record. It's so Start, good. Starting with you guys. Okay, let's talk about the new single because you produced it, did you not? I did. <gasps> How was I mean, you know, it's no work for me. This guy right here does all the work. And he's easy. He's what? Easy. He's just being nice. He's just being nice. Talk about the single. Well, uh, this single, I love it, man. Uh, I really think uh, it's one of the best songs on the record. All the songs are great, but... I really connected with that song. Um, I wrote the song, uh, so it was. Uh, Who did you co-write it with? I co-wrote it with Bobby Tomberlin, the sweetest guy in the business. Bobby, if you're watching, I love you, man. I'm Brownie serious. points. I'm serious. Next to me. Next. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah, so close enough to walk is a pretty cute story, you know. My wife, uh, she gets on my nerves basically daily, so. I'm but she's so cute, because yeah. I just met her. Yeah, I know. I wish she was here so y'all could see. She definitely yeah. married up if y'all ever see her. But <laughs> so, uh, so I told her, I said, hey, you don't have to drive me crazy. I'm close enough to walk. And she said, you need to go write that song. You know, so that's how that went down. Yeah. Easy. So what is going on with you? I know you just did. Didn't you just do some kind of commercial or something? Or, we just did or a commercial for Toyota. Uh, yeah. They didn't give me a car. I was hoping they would. Shouldn't that be part of the package deal? <laughs> I thought so. But uh, we're just out touring. We're with um, Red 11 Nashville, and, and uh, we're going back on the road. We took off uh, most of last year to record the record, prep on releasing it, and do the radio tour. And, and um, now we're back on the, on the road, and I look forward to do a couple of hundred dates. Uh, we're really excited about 19. Um, uh, we're, we're hoping in 2020 that we get on a major tour, and uh, so that's what we're looking for right now. Do you have anybody that you haven't toured with that's, like, on your bucket list of people? Man, there's a couple of guys I'd really like to tour with. Obviously, uh, Luke Combs, uh, you know, because he's as good-looking as I am. I think we would do great on a bill together. Bromance. Y'all can have a new bromance in yeah. Nashville. I also, uh, I think uh, Chris Stapleton would be a good tour mi uh, match. I, I think I would be, uh, I think if I toured with Jamie Johnson, that would be good. I could see that. Yeah, you know, because we're, you know, it's all about um, real music and uh, putting on a badass show. No no frills. It's it's honest. It's no hard. snap tracks. <laughs> well, I'd say, but we got one song on the record that almost has one, you know, uh, showing off. But it's just in the beginning. Okay. And, That's uh, excusable. That's just yeah, you know. And we can always we can always go back and add a real drum, but you know the snap track thing is is very popular. But I believe it's you know it'll be going away soon. I hope. And really quick, you have a very long history in this town. You've been here forever. You've written. You've produced. You're an artist. You're a songwriter. What is it like to work with a guy like this? Breath of fresh air. You just they don't just don't come along. You know you don't you don't get that chance that opportunity maybe a couple times in your lifetime. You know, I worked with George Strait since 79, and then... I know, you wrote one of my favorite George Strait songs. Awesome. And then... Easy Come, Easy Go. Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorites. But when, when, you know, I was fixing to retire, 62 years old, fixing to lay it down, kick back to my ranch in Colorado, and uh, then this guy comes along. I, first time I heard him sing, I fell out on the floor. Uh, you just don't hear voice like that, you know? And then we got together, and, and um, I saw what kind of guy he was, just... Very affable, easygoing, likable guy, funny as hell. And and but the thing that got me was the voice, man. I mean, I, I I've never had the opportunity to work with that caliber of a singer, you know. As far as did he take yeah, and he's handsome. Of course he did. And and tall, and and tall. rocks a hat like this. But yeah. I mean, I am. Yes. I have wings. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow, impressive. He's got it all going on. <laughs> well, thanks, y'all, for hanging out, as always, with the Country Now Sundance Head. We love you, Dean Dillon. We love you. So grateful y'all could stop by. We could be here to celebrate. Yeah, hey, get the record stained glass and neon right now. Yeah. It goes to a wonderful We might even have a giveaway coming. Me. We're oh. giving you away. We're giving you away. There you go. My wife does it all the time. There you go. I'm for sale. There you go.
So, uh, hope y'all like it. You don't have to drive me crazy 